Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have a post review. Um, if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting and some other crafting-related content from time to time, and I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express. Let's be friends. If you've been here before, hi, welcome. If you are new to my channel or new to post reviews, this is when I share all of my thoughts and details on a canvas that I have recently completed, the good, the bad, the ugly, um... For me, being honest and transparent is like the most important. Uh, it's the most important thing I can do as a creator sharing my experiences. But also as a consumer, that's like the number one thing that I look for. So that I make sure that when I'm sharing my details with you, um, that I'm being completely honest with that with you guys. Whether it is something that was sent to me, I'm an affiliate for the company, or I purchased it with my own money. Um, but before we get into all of the details of this canvas... Uh, hi, this is She's Got Everything. This is a Diamond Artisan kit. If you would like to see the unboxing for that, I will link that one up in the eye. Um, this is the new Ariel with a nod to the original Ariel. Uh, and I'm going to go over everything about this canvas. Um, I loved this canvas. I'm just going to go right off the bat and say I loved this canvas. Um, this was sent to me to unbox. Um, huge thank you to Brandy for sending that to me. Uh, there was never an expectation that I work on it, complete it, and do a post review. That was all completely done by decision on my own chance. But, you know, I really, really wanted to work on this image. Um, before I go into what I loved and whatnot on this canvas, I completed this over the span of nine days, it took me 32 hours and 10 minutes. Um, please keep in mind, when I say how long I've worked on something, it's not a competition. Um, I keep track of that for my own purposes. I know there are some people out there who think that I diamond paint really quickly. Uh, I don't think that I diamond paint like way faster than the average person or anything like that. But keep in mind, when you see somebody completing, like, these massive diamond paintings in a very short time, you don't necessarily know their circumstances. I have, I've said this story before, but I have a, a friend who people used to reach out to all the time and be, oh my gosh, how do you complete that so quickly? And her answer was, I'm disabled. And she was home for hours and hours and hours just working on diamond paintings a day. I have a tiny human. My life is insane. I would say that on average, I get to diamond paint about three, three and a half hours a day and not every day. So, um, this one was a, how big were you? A 50, it says right there, 50 by 70. It is a square drill canvas. It had 73 colors, which I still do not understand how there were that many colors in this. Because if you look at this, there's so much color blocking. Um, and there were one, two, three, four, five special drills, three of which were metallics. And I will go over everything here with you guys. I'm super, super excited. Uh, if you guys have not ordered a kit from Brandy, she is a small business owned and operated out of California. Uh, it is a minority owned and operated female run business as well. Uh, so please make sure that you guys are supporting your small businesses. <sighs> you guys, I love this. <laughs> I love this image so much. Listen, the 1989 classic, The Little Mermaid, was my favorite Disney movie, like of all time. So I was really, really excited when they came out with the new version this year, if you're watching it in current time. Um, and I got to see that in theaters with my daughter. I have a child who is uh, six years old, and uh, she absolutely loved it. So I love here that there's the nod from the new one to the uh, 1989. So I'm just going to do like a slow little push through here. Um, so all along the sides here, you have like the shelving units, which have all the things on it. Uh, I think that's where the majority of these extra colors came from, because seriously, some of these colors only had a handful of drills in the entire kit, uh, which also meant that there were very few drills to work with in that sense. Like they didn't give you a whole ton extra. So do keep that in mind. Also, I just want to point out, Things that are important to me may not be important to you and vice versa. So just because I say I love a company or I dislike a company or I loved an image, I didn't like an image, whatever it may be, keep in mind these opinions are all my own. And if the things that I said, these are the reasons I didn't like this canvas 
are, are, are reasons that don't matter to you, then obviously you might have a different opinion. So please keep that in mind. And not just me, any creator that's making post reviews or any kind of similar content. Anyway, so we have, this is what I love. The whole image is such a throwback to the original. So you have the framed picture of Ariel and then you have the snow globe that has the castle from the original movie and the VHS cover and then the seashell here and then here she is drinking her cup of coffee with her dingle hoppers all on display. I have to say some of the things that I loved most about this diamond painting are the most random things ever. Like, yeah, the flowers are beautiful, but holy moly, you guys, look at the way these pants were rendered. They're just unbelievable. So as I mentioned, there were uh, two ABs and three metallics. One of the metallics is here outlining the dingle hoppers. That one's beautiful. Um, the other one is this green. It is laced through the fabric here. It's laced on the side here. Um, you can see it in the containers on her shelf. And also it lines the whole tail of the mermaid in the image. There's also some purple across her chest for her um, shell top. I almost said bra top, but it's not a bra. Um, and then the other two colors were... That was an AB. That was a metallic. Um, then there was another metallic in the flowers here. And the last AB was this gorgeous shimmery inside the snow globe. I absolutely love, love, love the overall image of this. I think the hair was done really well. The clothing was done really well. This is something that I mentioned in my unboxing that sometimes diamond painting companies seem to have a really difficult time rendering black skin. Black and brown skin tones, just they use the wrong shades. Um, I think it works fine in her hands. And I think that some of the highlighting is okay, but I think that the blending on her face and on her chest right here could definitely be softer. I think it could be more gradual. Like her eyes are really beautiful and her nose is adorable, but the little colors that they used, just it's just too harsh down the middle of her face here. Um, Brandy, the owner of Diamond Artisan, is aware of this and has already brought this to the attention of the uh, manufacturers because this was something she was concerned about with the color choices that they chose when they hand charted this. Um, but I did want to point that out. I don't want to just skirt over the issue because I know people are going to look at this and go, ooh, her face. Her face is gorgeous. It just needed to be a little bit softer in terms of the blending. That's my opinion. Um, would it deter me from buying this and doing this again? Not at all. I, I can't tell you guys how much I loved this image. Um, I will say the right side and the bottom of the canvas had zero excess glue. The right side and the top had just a slight little bit. Um, so that obviously was something that like when the manufacturers put the glue down, they pour the glue. Um, that's what happened there. Every single symbol was legible and easy to read. There were a couple that I thought might trip me up. Let me grab the drill for you guys. Um, there were a couple that I thought might trip me up. And uh, they did not. If you guys hear that in the background, that is my husband. He is... That's a heat gun. Um, this one... And this one I thought were going to be throwing me off. They didn't. They didn't at all. Um... The canvas did a really good job of any similar-ish. They weren't near each other. And if they were, they were really easy to decipher. I think that was the only one that was... I had these. This is like three lines and then the pound sign. Super easy to decipher. Um, and as you can see, I've got a ton of drill colors here. Some of the colors did have a lot of static in them. Um, but as I mentioned, some of the shades that didn't have a whole lot on the canvas also didn't have a whole lot of extra left over. Now, I will say, I can't expect a company to use, like, 10 drills in a canvas and then have 50 extra. So, some of it is just my paranoia of always, and my husband can vouch for this, every single diamond painting kit that I work on, I'm like, I'm going to run out of a color. And it's only happened, like, once. 
Um, and that was a manufacturing issue, not a user error. We also have the four, uh, the five special drills, as I mentioned, um, and I will show you guys these up close, but you have your top two or your ABs, and then uh, your metallics, they are gorgeous. Let me show you guys the trash that I had for this. Now, keep in mind, this is a square kit, so square kits do tend to have more trash simply for the fact that it's harder to make uh, perfectly square pieces. Some of the trash that I have here is just uh, like dimpling on the top, so I took it out. Um, some of it is, this is the most common, where they were just two that were stuck together. Then a couple other misshapen pieces, a couple with little tabs, but overall, this is very, very little trash. I will say, for the record, I am not somebody who picks through and removes every imperfect drill. If you are somebody who is hypersensitive to the, the uh, perfection of the drills that you use, Please do keep in mind that a lot of the colors with little bits on the canvas, you're not going to receive an excessive amount of extras. Um, and that's just the way that is. So you can see here, the drills, they look nice. They just, you know, I got a couple with tabs um, and just a couple cosmetic flaws. Um, nothing that I would be upset by and nothing that I would complain about. Um, let me put that into my trash container while I talk to you guys. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Have you guys picked up a kit from Brandy yet? This is the second kit that I've worked on from her. The other kit was the Rolling on a Groove. If you guys would like to see the post review for that one, I will link that one up in the eye. I got to show you guys these drills, though. Um, of course, all of these want to be the wrong side up. But look, look at these green metallic drills the shine on these are absolutely amazing and they are so well rendered into this kit that's one thing i will say the the small details of this kit are what make it not just like the little vases on the on the shelf that are all in different like c colors that also coordinate with the background and her nail polish and the tabletop but also like they just the little snow globe with the castle in it is one of my favorite little details on here. So these are also a metallic. These are uh, rose gold copper-ish toned. Um, they do have black on the back of the drills. They are absolutely gorgeous. And they give a really nice effect when these were laid down um, with the dingle hoppers. If you guys don't know what a dingle hopper is, um, you're probably not watching this. But a dingle hopper is what Ariel calls a fork because that's what scuttle told her um and i'm not going to pull out the two ab's but i do want to show you guys the crystals i mean the metallic ones because they are just absolutely stunning and this one is not capturing as well in camera but look at this the shimmer and just oh, these are absolutely gorgeous um so I was really, really pleased to see the amount of special drills in here and um, just really, really, really just have an opportunity to work with some beautiful, beautiful drills. I'm like, what am I doing wrong here? I have them out of order. Uh, but as you can see, like I, there are 73 colors, you guys. I ran out of space in my Elizabeth Ward, so I just had a couple sitting on my desk. Um, but there's not any detail of this image that I didn't love and... I know that, sorry, my audio is probably trailing as I'm trying to move my tray of drills. Um, I know that everybody's probably going, oh, you're just saying that. Like, I loved working on this canvas. I have had so little time to myself and little time to really sit and craft and enjoy diamond painting the way I used to, just because life has been busy um, and nothing else to read into that. But I really... I enjoyed coming up to my crafting space and working on this every day that I worked on this. And I'm team color blocking, so I was super, super excited to just, like, knock out the back here. But the clean lines on this, just, they really, everything just translated so beautifully. I love all of the details. Um, I'm going to just bring this closer so you guys can see this. Don't mind my table. Look at that, you guys. <sighs> Like, I'm sitting here admiring my own work, but, um, look how the light is catching those ABs in there. Just, this, it's the small details, really, for this. The artist, Hannah DigiArts, just really knocked this one out of the park. Um, 
Brandy also carries her version of Belle, which we all call, we call these princess pants because they're the princesses wearing pants. Um, but I love that version also. She's just sitting in her little nook reading her book. And then they have the rose under, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen here, but um, I think that's it for you guys. I had zero issues with the drill quality. I had zero issues with the symbol quality or the canvas quality or the glue quality. None of that. Um, I really, really, really loved this canvas. Uh, it was a little bit, like you can tell when they printed it, it must have just gotten a little dirty here. Um, like, I can't wipe any of that off, but I'm sure if I use acetone, that would all come off. For me, that's not a big deal. I'm not going to be displaying that part of the diamond painting. Uh, my daughter has asked if I can put this in her room, so we shall see how that goes. If you guys have been here long enough, you know that I have zero diamond paintings hanging up on my wall in the four years I've been doing this or whatever it is at this point. But um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know down below. But I, I think that's it, you guys. I really, I truly, truly, truly loved this experience. Brandy has been absolutely fantastic to work with. I really, really, really enjoyed her other diamond painting that I did. Um, and she's got some beautiful kits that have like soft pastel colors. So there's a little bit for everybody. Um, please check her out if you haven't already. And go follow her on Instagram. Show her some love. Uh, I'll leave all of her information down below. But that's it. I've, I, I gonna keep rambling if I keep going. If you guys made it this far, please leave me something beach related, an emoji in the comments so that I know you made it this far. And let me know what your favorite Disney princess is. Um, but that's it. That's all I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like this or nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come. Join the Sparkle Squad. While you're there, hit that notification bell. Yay. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time, and I record my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>